Morning, everybody. Are you up for a challenge? I certainly hope so, because <sighs> I'm going to do something and I have no idea how I'm actually going to do it. Um, so I thought what I'd better do to start with is come out and get a really strong cup of coffee and uh, a bit of breakfast to uh, fuel up, ready to take on this kind of epic quest. I'll explain more in a minute. Morning. I'd like uh, an Americano with some hot milk on the side, please. So yes, this challenge I'm talking about, what we're gonna do is try and score a scene from Fritz Lang's famous 1927 sci-fi film, Metropolis. And in order to do that, we're gonna use the home orchestra. This is the home orchestra. Here's my coffee, thank you. Brilliant. Okay. You see what I mean by a challenge? I'll show you what we've got in here. Okay. We have plastic pan pipe. We have plastic kazoo. We have the shaker. And a triangle. I'm going to need my breakfast if we're going to do this. I'm quite serious. I'm not, we're not doing this as a joke. We're going to try and make it really good. So uh, that's why I'd have no idea how much you're going to do it. So stick with me and join me on this challenge and we will see if we can't do something cool and amazing. Um, some brown sauce would be great, thank you. Perfect, thank you very much indeed. Hello, small dog. I am vlogging, actually, yeah. I'm going to try and rescore Fritz Lang's Metropolis using the home orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this is going to be possible, but I thought it might be a bit of a laugh, so we're going to give it a go. So, yeah, look, home orchestra. <laughs> so I thought I needed a pretty, pretty decent, go decent breakfast before I got going on this, because I think this is going to... You start these things off and you've actually no idea how you're actually going to finish them. So, but I'll send you a link when it's done. So. <laughs> right, we can postpone the moment of truth no more. Let us go and get started. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see the uh, scale of the challenge we're facing. So what we've got in here is, as I was saying, shaker, helpful instructions, helpful instructions. Uh, so we've got shaker, we've got a um, plastic sort of pan pipe, we've got a kazoo, uh, we have um, a, a triangle. I think the beat has fallen out in my desk. Uh, in my, hang on, where's my pack? pack? Somewhere in between breakfast and here, I've parted company with my beater. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's see what the raw material is we've got to work with. Okay. Which end do you blow it? <laughs> How's this ever going to work? Um, obviously, we're going to have to use some imagination with this. I, I don't think just using this sound by itself is going to do it. So what I do have half a plan. My half plan is <laughs> that we record, we sample these instruments. Um, and we put them into some software like Contact or um, Iris from Isotope, and we uh, then produce a sort of instrument from it, if you're a virtual instrument, using these samples, which we can then use to score Metropolis. <laughs> um, but whether this is going to be enough, only time will tell. Let's get cracking. Let's drop this into record. Let's see. That's not working. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. 
One, two, that's better. Right, we're in business. Ah, the box. Right, so that's done the recording. Um, we're now going to put it in the computer and see what we can come up with. Part one is complete. We've recorded the sounds, we've put them into the machine, um, and I didn't put you through all of that, but it, it, they are now all chopped up. Um, so we use strip silence and things like that. And literally, we've now converted each of these little performances, <laughs> as such as they are, um, to individual audio files. So we've got all the bits and pieces in there. Now we just have to start using those sounds um, to create um, instruments. And this is going to be the tricky bit. The reason it's going to be tricky, I think, is because they are very small and the sound is quite high and a bit thin. So uh, with the greatest respect to the home orchestra kit, um, we're going to have difficulty getting a big round sound out of it. But that's also why we recorded these at um, the highest uh, sample rate we could, because we got 96 kilohertz on the Zoom H6. Um, we can go up to 192 on other devices. And the reason that works is because when you listen to um, an ordinary piece of music or an ordinary a sound file, it's normally recorded at 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. That means 48,000 slices of sound every second. If you transpose that sound down by an octave, you're playing it back slower. And that means you're only playing back, if it was originally recorded at 48,000 slices per second, you're playing it back at 24,000 slices per second. And when you reduce th the number of slices per second, you also reduce the higher frequency. So as you go down, the sound will get duller and duller. So if you want to pitch something down a lot, but keep all the high frequency sound in there, you record at the highest possible um, sample rate. That's why. Right, let us now get going. And uh, I'm going to start with Isotope uh, Iris 2, which is a really interesting instrument. Um, it's, it comes with a whole load of things. What, in essence, it does, okay, I've already set up this so that I've put the samples in its folder. So all our chopped up samples looks, there's box, kazoo growl, uh, pan pipe, all these things are in there already. So if we just take uh, a pan pipe sample, okay, pan pipe flutter, for example, what you can do so its root note is G5 at the moment, so we probably want to take that down to see. There we go. That's what it would have sounded like originally, something like that, wouldn't it? What you can now do is you can literally paint the, um, here we go, where's the one? Oh, that's the one, that's the one I like. Um, let's clear that off. You can paint the bits of the sound you want to hear, so we can just have that bit. Move it up and down. Ooh, that's quite interesting. Ooh, quite like that. It's currently set to loop, so, so if we want it to go and... There you go. That's a patch. So that's how it works. So you can draw the sound. You can layer sounds as well, because if you look up here, you can have four different samples, and you can layer them on top of each other. Um, also, you can... Um, uh, you can use modulator, so you can use the mod wheel, or you can use velocity or other things. So as we get going with this, um, as you'll see, we're going to be able to start using all kinds of interesting stuff um, to create these little instruments. And as uh, Metropolis is a sci-fi, uh, we will be looking, it will probably be quite um, useful to be able to create these kind of weird and wacky sounds, which will make it sound weird and wacky. And hopefully, my aim is, at the end of this epic uh, exercise, challenge, whatever, that <coughs> we'll be able to produce something which is plausible as a piece of music um, to go with uh, um, Metropolis. Right, okay, so let's 
let's start from scratch. So first of all, we're going to create a new patch. Uh, let's start with this flutter thing. Let, I quite like that. So we're going to draw that sort of shape again. I quite like maybe. I can move the loop. I wonder if it would loop actually. got good looping tools in here as well as you see so uh, crossfade let's have loop forward and backwards okay I like that so that's what we're gonna now here's the problem <laughs> You have to think up names for all these things you create. So we're going to call that um, Flutter Swell A, because I could, I could easily come back and create another one. What happens if we layer another one on top of that? So let's take another Flutter Swell, that one. I quite like that because I like the way the pitch is warbling between the two. Where's the pan? Because I quite like to pan them left and right a bit. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Oh no, it's master pan. Is there, there must be a, a mixer to. It's down here. So oh, here we go. That one, that side. Okay, we're going to save that as plus as well B. Okay, I have a feeling some of these kind of um, uh, these sort of sounds are not going to be that hard to create. The harder ones are going to be the we're going to need something which is also um, a bit more kind of uh, staccato. Um, what I'm t what I'm think I'm I'm starting to form yet an a plan is starting to form. A plan is starting to form. Um, and that is, when you work with almost, you're, you need things which approximate to certain functions within the traditional orchestra. So I might want something which will approximate to a short string or a pizzicato or something. I might want something which will approximate to a sort of fluty top line. And then I can still arrange things, but just using my own weird and wonderful sounds. The other thing I'm going to need is a tuner, because I need to get these into some kind of pitch that is recognisable. Um, ah, here we go. And so that means retuning all the samples so that they actually work. So there is my tuner. Uh, let's see what it is. So that's loafing array some... Right, so let's get... We need to get that down to C. Actually, moving the root note will help. Ah, oh, there we go. The pitch is a bit all over the shop, but that is close to a C. Um, so that was using F5, so let's... Okay. like in there those the, the the little sort of rhythmic things which are going on within the sound let me resave that now 
filter says well be okay yes we're going to save it let's just take a little moment here um there's an awful lot of trial and error about creating um sounds like this and it's really you know what what rings your bell what do you like what don't you like what goes oh that's great what goes oh so i think i'm going to faff around like this for some more um we are we can use Kelp Contact as well, which is a much more straightforward instrument in a way because you, you don't have all the ability to paint. The t the but you see what I'm trying to do here, that we're going to use layering and envelopes and modulation. So I'm going to create some instruments and then we'll come back. And then the final part of this epic challenge, I'll see if I've created enough instruments out of the famous home orchestra in order to be able to score a scene from Fritz Lang's famous 1927 uh, classic, Metropolis. Don't go away. I should say at this point that if this is the kind of thing that rings your virtual bell, um, please subscribe, um, because uh, then you'll get notifications when we do uh, win and wonderful stuff like this. So tell your friends, share, subscribe, do all that. See you in a minute.